Hey guys, now this is a weird monitor that I have been using for quite a while. The real question is, is it the best budget 4K monitor for the M1 Max? Well, to find out, keep watching. Let's start with the specs of this monitor. It's a 32 inch 4K screen with slim bezels along the top and the sides. It's also a VA panel with an average brightness of 250 nits, which is fine for regular room setting, but would have liked to see higher brightness. The screen covers 100% of the sRGB spectrum and 83% of the Adobe RGB. A 4 millisecond response time and 60 Hz refresh rate means that this screen won't be ideal for gaming, but it's fine for productivity and design work. What's really unique about this monitor is the stand and the way it works. It's something I love and hate about it at the same time. The flexible stand can tilt the screen back to a nearly 90 degree angle, where it looks and feels a bit like the Surface Studio 2 resting flat. But it's not a test screen, so I don't see much use of this angle. The only way to change the height of the monitor is to bring forward towards you which kind of defeats the promise of saving you more space on the desk. Don't get me wrong, the stand is an innovative concept, but in some cases it is limiting your options. The picture by picture option is pretty neat, enabling you to run the HDMI and mini display ports input at the same time and displaying their output side by side on the screen. There's also picture in picture where the second source can take 25% of the screen space. Keep in mind that this monitor uses a clamp system for easy installation and can sit flat against a wall. Make sure that your desk can support it. The installation took me less than 2 minutes. The cables can be discreetly hidden from sight via a groove in the stand. However, after multiple height adjustments, they got out of it as you can see. Out of the box, achieving an average delta E of 2.55 and a peak of 4 in normal mode tested against sRGB isn't a disaster, but you can do better for the money. To my eyes, the space monitor also looks washed out, and it took some fiddling with the gamma settings to sort it out. This tweak, however, makes color accuracy even worse, dropping the average delta E to 4.19 and the peak to 7.08, again tested against sRGB. And while the monitor's sRGB gamut cover sits at 99.2%, the gamut volume misses the mark at 126.9%. Having said that, I was pleasantly surprised by how much it matched the color reproduction of my MacBook, even though the latter has a better DCIe P3 display. This is not a monitor made for Macs, like the ultra-fine line from LG. There is no USB-C on this monitor, and you can't control the brightness from macOS settings. Instead, it relies on a single HDMI and a single mini display port. So with your MacBook, it will require a dongle adapter to plug it in. If those features are important to you, then check the LG monitors with USB-C optimized for Macs. However, this monitor is all about style and saving space. So considering its price, I think it provides a clean looking setup for your MacBook or Mac mini without breaking the bank. MacOS display scaling worked great for this monitor with sharp text and more than enough space. I don't recommend the native 4K scaling since it makes the icons and text so tiny, not practical at a reasonable distance. Using the monitor as a 4K viewer in Final Cut Pro was a great experience and made my workflow even better on my MacBook. If you have a Mac mini and an iPad, you can actually do the same thing. Overall, I think that the Samsung Space Monitor does what it sets out to do. It is a great looking monitor with decent color production and brightness once you fiddle with the settings a bit. The main selling point of this monitor is the screen's adjustable eye level and the clever hinging. However, I would have liked some lateral height adjustment with some degrees of rotation and swivel. If it came with a touch display, this monitor would have been great for content creators like designers and illustrators, but that would also increase the price. So if you own a Mac and you are looking for a budget monitor with a decent display and clean design, 
then you cannot go wrong with the space monitor that's it guys if you like this video leave a like if you want to see more content please subscribe thanks for watching and see you in the next one